well tended garden it seems there's a ladder and um it's not very obvious if you if you've never played it before but the shutters here are open so this you could use the ladder to go into the shutters to go into the window upstairs but we need a key i need a key check if that door works but it doesn't i think Door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Yeah, so looking for a key for this uh, mechanical ladder so we can climb in through the attic window. It's a beautiful garden. Good morning. You've got a magnificent garden here. Oh, please, don't talk about it. Since my gardener automaton broke down, there are weeds everywhere. You can't imagine how much work it takes me. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. We're not used to doing without our robot help here in Veladilan. But everybody says that we're going to have to get used to it. She says robot. I thought we weren't allowed to call them robots. And she works for the family that makes them. It's a nice piece of art, but there's nothing else here. Nice view though. Uh, I guess this gate is shut too. Yeah. No point. It's locked. Oh, well, it's gonna try twice. What's here? A key. They're all the same keys though. I should probably just keep one in my inventory and then I never have to run around again. Just operate everything with that one key. Maybe they're all different sizes and the game just doesn't show that. Or they've got some other way of being unique to that item. There we go. That's one tall ladder. Kate is braver than me. that to get our letter stamped uh, the one that gives us access to the train the one that allows us to actually take the train even though nobody's really giving us permission for it uh, this looks to be Anna's diary or journal it is so it starts in 1930 in May So it says, yesterday something terrible happened. I do not know who to turn to, who to talk to. So I have decided to write it down. You, dear diary, are now my confidant and sole guardian of my secret thoughts. Hans lies in the next room, teetering between life and death, and I am terrified. So she started writing in this diary after sh Hans uh, fell in the cave, trying to get that mammoth doll down um, so she is uh, blaming herself in part for his his um, 
his issue, his problems. Um, he's still unconscious days later. Uh, yeah, she's she's very. She feels guilty apparently. So on May twentieth, he's apparently come back to consciousness, but then. Uh, the family figures out that actually um, he's changed so he's got he's got some difficulties moving and talking um, and and the, the the father can't really deal with that he's starting to get annoyed uh, he seems to be all right. They can't really find anything wrong, but he's he's not uh, going back to normal, basically. So it says here, I have discovered the truth. Hans is stunted physically and mentally. I eavesdropped on a conversation between the doctor father and Gertrude. Uh, I assume Gertrude is the the help or something. Uh, she buried her tear-filled eyes in her apron and father muttered the word retard under his breath. How could he say such a thing? Indeed. Um, so obviously he wanted Hans to at some point take over the business and realizes that because of this that will not happen. So further in the journal, it just talks about how they're trying to fix him, but it's not working. Uh, and Hans gets interested in the automatons, like obsessively so. And turns out to have a talent for it. Um, Anna has gone to school. And uh, <laughs> she's talking here. Hans hasn't changed to help Gertrude. He has designed a totally automated kitchen, and Gertrude can't stop moaning, moaning at the wooden puppets. <laughs> so he is genius in a way, but not fit for running the business, unfortunately. Anna's gone to university and Hans is still working with his automatons, inventing things. And here it says in um, 1938, uh, Hans wants to leave, leave Valadilen, the house and the factory. He wants to go traveling. He doesn't know where to or for how long. He wants to leave because of the mammoths. Uh, he wants to go tracking mammoths. So that is interesting considering everybody would think they're extinct. So it seems that the mammoth doll that he found the day he, he fell off the rock had a significant impact on his life. So Hans is 18 years old today in uh, on February 1938. So that means he was about 10 years old when when he fell and uh, fell unconscious. <laughs> so Hans was still making robots at the time. Uh, this explains actually in secret Gertrude delivered to me a small robot from Hans it's a robot of us as children it works with a small cylinder punched with tiny holes 
I quivered with emotion as I turned the key. The message it gave was simple. He was telling me he loved me very, very much. So that's the invention of the um, the little machine with the puppets that reads the voice cylinders. He invented that when he was 18 years old, apparently. So she keeps getting uh, voice cylinders from Hans while he's being locked away by, by the father. And here it says, my days are spent eagerly awaiting Hans' messages. He has now resolved to run away. He's preparing his escape like if it was a game. Yeah. So he did run away. And that is, that is when uh, the father decides to make up Hans's death. So it is it is unsure like it, it's not really explained in the journal or maybe Anna didn't really know like did the father want to believe he was dead or did he want the world to believe he was dead it's not clear like did did the father uh not want anything ever to do with his own son again probably uh or was he just so embarrassed that he didn't want the world think that he was still out there and not not taking over the factory and being a, a proper heir so at this point she decides to stay uh, take care of her father and take over the factory and uh, and uh, Keep in touch with Hans, if possible. So as we know, she did keep in touch. She got letters from him from all over the world. And the last letter she got from him was from Siberia. Uh, right. <gasps> Creepy kid. Mamas. You draw mamas for Momo? Ah, Momo, it's you. You scared me. So now we also kind of know why Anna was um, nice to Momo, why she liked him so much. She was probably reminded of Hans when he was a young kid. Uh, Hans being very talented, but also not being very uh, physically and mentally uh, in top shape. What are you doing in here? Momo want Mama's picture, like Hans' picture. Sorry, I haven't got a picture of a mammoth with me. Take paper and pencil and draw Mama's for Momo. <laughs> you don't give up easily, do you? Mm, have I? I have introduced myself. Uh, let's ask him about the train. Tell me, Momo. I met someone real interesting in the factory. A kind of robot called Oscar. Now, he told me about a train. Anna didn't tell you where it was going, did she? Train! Train! Choo-choo! Momo, Momo, it's okay, it's okay. I guess not. Uh, does he know about the cave? Tell me, Momo. I heard about a cave. You look like a smart little fellow. You wouldn't know where it is, would you? Draw mammoth for Momo. Mm. Okay, here's the deal. 
I draw you a mammoth, and you tell me about the cave, okay? Um, but first, draw a mammoth for Momo. Fine. Momo, I've got to go now, but see you later, maybe. So I guess we'll have to draw a mammoth. It's a good thing I saw an outline of a mammoth right here. Drawn by Hans two years after his accident. That's a cute mammoth. There we go. Sort of like drawing. Look at that, beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> You're drawing. Oh. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Can I give him the... Tell me, Momo. I heard about a cave. Mm. You look like a smart little fellow. You wouldn't know where it is, would you? Draw a mammoth for Momo. Okay. Here's the deal. Okay, we found I that. draw you. Um. Right. Moment. Let me just. Ah, here it is. In our documents, of course. Thank you. Momo happy. Now follow Momo. Momo show his secret to Kate. You sure we want to do this? 